Hi, Josh here. I just got done watching Scientific's review of the T-Motor AK86 Servo, a link in the description below, and I saw the telepresence demo he put together and thought, wow, that looks pretty cool, I want to try it too. So I put together something using the MJBOTS QDD100, which includes the Modius controller. Its CAN FD link lets us run that demonstration with a full update bandwidth of 2 kHz. Let me show you what I've got put together. First, I have two QDD100 servos mounted in the bracket that comes with the QDD100 dev kit. On this one, I have a trusty old bracket affixed to the output from a previous demonstration, which maybe you recognize. If not, you'll see soon enough. And on this one, I have just a simple 3D printed paddle. Both of these servos have power connected from a lab power supply, daisy chained from this servo through to this one. And then I have a Raspberry Pi 4 with the Pi 3 hat mounted on top. It gets its power from the end of the daisy chain power. And the servo CAN FD buses, this servo is connected to port 1 and this servo is connected to port 3. The laptop here connects to the Raspberry Pi over Wi-Fi. The Pi is acting as an access point that lets me SSH in and display data from the embedded web server. Uh, the application running on the Raspberry Pi reads the position and velocity from both servos each update cycle, applies a PID loop, then commands torques back out, all at an update rate of 2 kHz. So let's turn on the power to the control loop and see what this does. I'll use the web interface to set it as active. And now when I move the paddle, the bucket moves, so I move the bucket, the paddle moves, I can push against them, pull on them, go as fast as I can pull off in either direction. So it has a fair amount of speed. I can use my one pound juggling ball and see that it has plenty of power to lift that up if I chuck it, I can catch it, or it can throw and catch no problem. Now something that this virtual telepresence can do, which no, would be much harder for a mechanical system, is a virtual gear reduction. So I can set this up so that the torque required in this paddle is say one quarter the torque required in the bucket. So now if I start this up this paddle takes almost no effort at all to move, even if I put the one pound ball on that side, the paddle takes almost no force to move. I can just bounce it around, whereas moving the um, ball is still the full weight, if not more, since it's lifting this thing. And so that gives plenty of force, uh, plenty of force and speed with that impressive gear reduction. Um, now let's go look at the scope and s verify that it is actually running at 2 kilohertz. What I'll do here is drop my CAN probes onto one side of each of the CAN buses and that'll let us see the waveform that we're sending to each of the servos. I'll pause that and now we can see that the command and query to the servos and there's the response in the servo. So the command and query in the response takes around 260, 270 microseconds, and a full cycle takes around 500 microseconds, which is 2 kilohertz. The dead time here is where the Raspberry Pi is reading the data off the Pi 3 hat and sending new data back, and the dead time there is where the servos are calculating the response. Since the Pi 3 hat has four independent CAN buses, you can achieve the same update rate with four devices at the same time. And as you add more devices on each of the buses, the dead time somewhat amortizes and overlaps, which means you can still achieve high update rate even if you have two or three or four devices on each bus. In this demonstration, that two kilohertz update rate means that the feedback is extremely responsive between the, the two motors. Uh, you basically can't discern any latency or lag. They feel like they're one device, except for, in this case, the, uh, the simulated gear ratio. That doesn't even bring into account the 40 kHz update rate that the Modi's controller is using internally. That is what allows it to apply the internal PID loops and the field-oriented control at very high rate. 
That's all I've got. Thanks.